Okay, hello, we are Gamer Gals or Go. My name is Annie Mock. I am a uh, one of your hosts and a cartoonist and such. And this is my co host. What's your name? <laughs> what? Yeah, what's your name? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, what, you, she's Princess What's Her Name. The, uh, yeah, it's okay. And you're a starship pilot, uh, apparently. Remember? You drive a hotel around. What? In Star Wars, yeah, you should look her up. She's blue. I don't. I told you this last. You should watch our show. Anyway, my name is Kelly. <laughs> uh, I can only make Star Wars references when Disney does something particularly stupid in a theme park. Um. <laughs> oh, yes, they named a character after my last name Star yeah. Warsy and uh, also Chinese. Um, first Chinese, then Star Warsy. So great, so creative. So, yeah. so, so hip, so new. Anyway, we are playing Watam, the game by uh, the newer game by the Katamari Demacy creator. What is the name? Demacy. Demacy. <laughs> Kate Takahashi. <laughs> Kate Takahashi. He's great. Um, God bless yeah, that he's man. a joy. Yes. What a what a what a delight. <laughs> yeah, we started our series, uh, our our show rather, playing Katamari, and we never finished it. I don't That's know why. Okay. Um, like, oh, because it was hard. Um, was it? I, I couldn't get past a certain level, and I decided it was hard. Um, oh, okay. All right. That's valid. <laughs> yeah. Even though I had beaten it perfectly fine when I was 17. Um, I mean, you know what? It, the beauty of Katamari is in its simplicity. Y you you weren't really missing a big part of it. <laughs> yeah, I would have liked, liked to have gotten to the end when you roll up the moon, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, so this is what Tom... I still believe in us. It is. Okay. It is a palindrome. Oh, yes, of course. It's spring, so you're going to hear a lot of dirt bikes and uh, the three wheel dirt bikes out of it's my uh, circle of life you know <laughs> spring is for f fertility it's, it's it's as natural as a keita takahashi game with a smiling poop in it <laughs> yeah that's true that's true all the uh boys and girls making a lot of noise out there long long ago <laughs> oh my god this is the theme of our show now <laughs> Everything existed in this world. Like car parts, bottles, and cutlery. <laughs> I mean, I feel like our show should be subtitled The Loud The Loud Dirt Bike Show now. But then Wow, I love this intro. I love this illustration painting style. I love the uh the children's novelty macaroni rainbow. Oh wow, everything was uh, lost. And no one remembers what happened back then. Long ellipses. Aww. Cube man. Cube man with bowler hat is sad. Hi. Oh, charming. That's charming piano. Why I'm alone? He's the mayor. Yeah, that's not just any bowler hat. That is the mayor's hat. Wow, he's the only mayor I've ever liked. Certainly like him a lot more than Lori Lightfoot, mayor of Chicago. Uh, John Mayer. I'm not a fan. No, no, he's terrible. Um, let's see here. Um. Yeah, did you hear Lori Lightfoot's latest uh, escapade on Zoom? I do not uh, know about Lori Lightfoot, and the more you tell me, the less I'll be able to imagine a fun cartoon horse. <laughs> you want that on your on your conscience? I do, because it's pretty funny. <laughs> she's a pretty right. pretty horrifically terrible mayor. Everybody was all excited because she was. They were like, "She's a black lesbian. That means she'll be great." Um, uh, nope. She uh, is a horrific mayor long line of Chicago's horrific mayors. Um, closed uh, when the uh, pandemic was happening, all the uh, teachers were trying to do online schooling. She was like, nope, we'll, we'll shut, I'm gonna shut down your, uh, your online classrooms ourselves, myself. And also recently on Zoom, she told a bunch of guys, 
Uh, I have the biggest dick in Chicago. My dick is bigger than yours and all the Italians. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with Chicago? I just found out you had a they had a mayor that that bulldozed the airport under cover of night without permission. Um. Well, it's a it's a dynasty of bad humans. Yeah. Apparently, he was like the son of another mayor that did the same thing with the same last name. Just like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was, uh, I forget what they were named, but yeah, they were a dynasty of, uh, very bad mayors. Um. Speaking of Lightfoot, look at you go. Yeah, this is the good Lightfoot mayor. Oh, Gordon. Gordon? Gordon Lightfoot. Oh, is that a band? <laughs> probably. <laughs> if it's a name that I know, it's probably a band that I've never listened to, but... <laughs> or anyway. A, or a sci-fi character? Oh gosh, the, I know that they can get away with it because it's so simple, but the, the lighting in this is actually really good. It is good. I like it. I love that bouncy red arrow. It's it reminds fun. me of uh, reminds me of Una Racers or Una Rally to my UK friends. Let's see. Okay. Oh, the music is so good. The I music love in, it. The music in Keita Takahashi games is, is always unnecessarily good. Like... Ugh. It's necessary, but it's surprisingly good. I mean, it didn't have to go that hard. Like, d d have you played Nobi Nobi Boy? No, but I want to. Nobi Nobi Boy uh, is or was great. I don't, uh, a lot of what made it great is kind of reliant on an online system. I don't know if it's still around the online part, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a game that a lot of people played for about ten or fifteen minutes and put down and didn't didn't really do much with. And it's got like hours and hours and hours of beautiful music by basically every musical instrument in the world. Wow. Yeah. Oh, does the whole game take place on this uh, uh, cube? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise now. Would okay, it? never mind. I love this rock. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, Keita Takahashi could draw a little face on anything, and I would be like, I love this, it's my friend, I will protect it forever. No. Yes, of course. <gasps> <gasps> Big rock. Aww. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome uh, back, Rock! Hey, Mayor. Hey Olivia? The Rock's name is Olivia? <gasps> ah, this game is so good. It's perfect for our show. It's perfect for everybody. It is. I don't... Everybody slept on this game, I think. I didn't hear anybody talking about it. So surprising from... Uh, it's not character. that surprising, is it really? People I mean, just want a sequel to the same thing they remember liking, apparently. Or they would have bought all the other things he made. <laughs> yeah. I just want a sequel to Assassin's Creed. Uh, I'm not even sure that that's true. I think... I think they just put copies of Assassin's Creed in stores at such volume that they just end up being sold. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, do you know anyone? I mean, no, no shade, obviously. There's some things that I could probably enjoy about that game in theory, that series. Mm -hmm. I like poor parkour. Nothing wrong with some parkour. I like going to visit exotic locations. But, like, do you know anyone that's, like, a big Assassin's Creed fan, right? I know, um... I know one person who loves the um, the recent. I know a bunch of people who love the recent like three games, like not the Ezio games, but the uh, like the uh, really yeah, like the uh, the Egyptian game and the ancient Greco Roman game and uh, it was a Viking one. You're telling me those were all the same like arc somehow? No, no, they were just in the same kind of loose. Are they just uh, like them, like vibe. Yes, yes. And I, I watched my friend, my my uh, friend I had at the time play the uh, the Greco-Roman game, Odyssey, and um, uh, it was interesting. It, was, it had some cool shit to it. 
In the, the yeah. Egyptian game, I watched them play the beginning of that too. Yeah, no, I'm sure. You know what I like about that one is that there's a there's a one there's a mode you can you can toggle where nobody fights you and you just learn about Egypt. It's great. Oh yeah, yeah, they, uh, they, a bunch of them have that. I think the That's uh, the awesome. Roman, the Roman one does. I'm oh. a big fan of that. I'm just saying it's it's kind of wild that like didn't they even make a movie out of it and it's yep. like I don't I don't know anyone that's like really excited but maybe that says more about me i guess than the popularity of the franchise um so do you plan on just and forgive the expression blue ballsing both of these people until they pee themselves or <laughs> uh, would you or would you like to maybe relinquish your hat with your special power i'm trying um oh i have to go to the okay i have to do yes okay yes Okay, great. Hat trick! Oh my That's god. That's a nice trick. I love it. Once more? Okay, I can do that again. Okay, so I need to um, pick up. Why? Yeah. Every ATV in the Tri County area loves the hat trick. Is an ATV? Is that a vehicle? Yeah, they're outside. Oh, oh your yeah. house. All terrain vehicle. The V is for vehicle. Oh, yes. Wow, you faked him out. I didn't even know you could do that. I, I, just, didn't, Danny. I just didn't hold it for long <laughs> enough. Oh my god! I bet that makes it better, though. That's like uh, on launched roller coasters when uh -huh. the guy in the uh, the guy in the booth is feeling kind of punchy and a little bit mean, and he'll he'll count down but launch it on two, mm -hmm. or or count all the way down and then they won't launch it, and he'll say, "I think it's broken." Just kidding, and then launch it. Love those guys. <laughs> I mean, I feel a little bad because, like, sometimes you'll see a six-year-old that swears off roller coasters forever. That <laughs> you know, right then and there. But I don't know. I was that six-year-old. It's fine. You, you, you get a crush on the right person and follow them into the right line and realize <laughs> you don't have a fear of heights. You have a fear of a fear of falling, which is fine if you're restrained. And then you love roller coasters. Yeah, you definitely never swore off roller coasters. I mean, I kind of did. Really? But, uh, from about 6 to 16, probably. Oh, I get... that's only 10 years. That's not even like a third. <sighs> that's like maybe but... not even a third of your life. Well, now, yeah. But it felt like a big deal when I was a teenager. Because <laughs> it, so. it was my whole life. I, I was afraid. I, I developed a fear of heights. Uh, oh, that's at ba Basically overnight by having a particular, like... I had a dream where I fell from a great height, plausibly and realistically, and died. Like, oh, wow. everybody was like, he can't die in a dream. And I'm like, well, I guess maybe if you've already died before, it's unlocked or something. Because I definitely did in the dream, and it freaked mm -hmm. me out. Um, mm -hmm. And then I realized, yeah, I, I eventually figured out that I am afraid of unrestrained heights, but that's just reasonable for me to be, because, you know, yeah. I'm not the most stable individual, literally speaking. Yes. So, But you, you put me in a comfy harness you can do almost whatever you want with me kelly you've really got to think of these things before you see them. <laughs> that's funny <sighs> wow. wow yeah actually comfy harness put me in a comfy harness quote you put me in a comfy harness and you can do almost whatever you want with me <laughs> Unquote, Kelly Marine. That's Man. that's some H word stuff. Some it's true a, H word stuff. The word "you" is doing a lot of work there. It is, but you said it. Oh wow, the grass, the tears of the. Gra oh my god, this game is delightful. Yeah, I love that. Um. It looks like it's for four-year-olds, but it has the most intense, like that which came from Tears. That's that's like a Castlevania soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> name. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But the uh, but the way it's working and the way it's sounding is, is definitely for four-year-olds and up. Wow. Um. And there is very flexible. They all They're are. all very flexible. It's great. Very helpful for friendship. Being flexible is helpful 
for when you want to be a friend. That's true. Are you intentionally watering everything except the plant? Oh, the plant. Where is the plant? Oh, the plant in the middle. Okay, yeah. The grass is neat. I mean... Okay, I good. didn't want to interrupt in case you were drawing something. No, I wasn't. Thank you for leading me. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh my gosh! I love the depth of field in this game. It's wonderful. Yeah. So much cooler than that stupid lens flare that game designers got obsessed with. Yeah, hey, everyone who makes games, uh, if you're going to have chromatic aberration in your game, uh, you are now required by law, my law, <laughs> to make that a toggle in the, in the graphics menu. Um, explain to me what chromatic aberration is exactly. That's when they separate the R, G, and B the further out you get from the center of the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it, okay. it, it's yet another way to mimic certain types of lenses in games where, like, in theory, you're using your human eyeballs, which are not lenses. Mm -hmm. That always kind of bothered me, like, in games when you'll get, like, a lens flare and some dirt splatter on your eyes, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I understand, yeah. Yeah, wait, yeah, when does that happen? I mean, guess it gets on your glasses or your... Like, Would you please? I can't take it. I can't take it either. I'm trying. Do it! Uh, okay, there we go. There you go. Woo, this is yeah. fun. Yeah! This is fun. So I assume you can't fall off the edge. Let's try that right now. You assume a lot. Hello, Sprout. Hello. Can I fall off the edge? I bet I cannot. Doesn't seem like that kind oh, of Oh, do you bet that you cannot? Well, I can't. Doesn't seem like I can. Again, um, th the word you is crucial here, but that's all I'll say. I <laughs> you're confusing me, but that's fine. Oh no, I'm being cryptic on purpose. <laughs> um, oh, I should say hello to the, um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, so let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. So let's see. That's like Toad. Like you don't want to think about it. Oh yeah, you definitely do not want to think about it the dynamics of Toad's head. Or his legs. I hate that creepy picture of Toad's human legs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a really great running gag in our household. Uh, as some of you may know, uh -huh. my uh, one of my partners is a professor of political science at a big fancy pants university for yes. smart people uh -huh. who say respectable things, uh, in theory. And yet, we have a running gag where, due to the successful running gag, it, like we managed to get Donkey Kong says trans rights into a slide, amazing like, for teaching, uh, and so immediately we had to like I don't remember how it happened, but uh, Toad in a diaper. We were trying to get Toad in a diaper into no! a slide, and she's just like, okay, but like it has to be relevant, and I, I just haven't found. A <laughs> This is why I should never be in academia, right? Like, I would have just found a way yeah. by now. Uh, but I do love her commitment to the bit. We're like, like, we can't say she's never going to do it. Uh, and the longer it goes, the funnier it'll be if she does it. Because yeah. she, she will find a way to make it relevant to yeah. politics. Mm -hmm. Yes. Toad in a diaper, I remind you. Oh, gross. I hate that image so much. Um, okay, where am I going? I need to be the nose. The nose, nose. No, 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 nose, yes, nose. I smell? Oh, I need to smell the gross stuff. I mean, you could smell the flowers, but... I just keep forgetting where Y is because I'm grown by the Nintendo oh, girl. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what am I doing with this? Hi. Hello. That's cute. Wow, this is... 
Is that Ellis the acorn? Oh, well, that's cute. Mayor the mayor, I suppose. <laughs> oh, wow. This game is so delightful. That was fun. Okay, let's see what's next here. Oh, I forgot to set a timer for the first time ever. That's cool. I didn't ask you to because I uh, have been looking at the timer. That I yeah, have. but I don't have one. I want one. Oh, well, then we have um, 10 more minutes till we have 30 minutes. Oh, great. We're recording for um, just under 21 minutes. We have 15 seconds till 21 minutes. Okay, no, that's too many numbers. Walk it back, walk it back. <gasps> it's just... okay, Kelly. No, no. There's no such thing as numbers. <laughs> they can't hurt you. Breathe. Oh, they absolutely can. Yeah. Okay. Just... <laughs> does this game have a... Some have of a... them are. Oh, it does have a save. Good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it auto-saves after every important event. It's just that, like, I think you have to be... Either Keita Takahashi himself, or just completely one with his sensibilities to understand when something in this game is an important event. Oh, well, it shows you there's a little icon, but also you can save at any time, see? And you put it in a little box! Oh, wait, there's a whole collection? That's amazing. Oh, oh my god, what a collection. It just shows- <gasps> The sun! Oh Hello. my god. <gasps> so many things! Yes. My, my the earth really is full of things. Is it really is? Ada had said before. What a man. So he I mean, made nobody I don't know that he before. wrote that. What? Oh yeah, maybe he didn't. Um, <laughs> I mean, he probably agrees with the sentiment given the content of his games. Tend to be literally earths made of things and becoming full of them. Yes. Um. So he made nobody, nobody boy. He made mm -hmm. Katamari 1, at least. Um, and 2, which okay. was a treatise on how you shouldn't ask him to make any more of them. Oh, wow. Interesting. Really? Uh, yeah, and then in response to uh, corporate basically blackmailing him into making more, instead of just making more, like most uh, video game quote-unquote auteurs have ended up having to do, mm -hmm. Uh, he swore off the game industry for a while and tried really, really hard to make playground equipment. Oh, wow. And, uh, I believe eventually they did let him make some playground equipment, which oh. is perfect. Wow. And uh, eventually some really nice people that promised not to franchise anything he made uh -huh. uh, made him an offer he couldn't refuse. And <laughs> now when... Uh, when people give him enough money to do whatever he wants, he gets to use that money to make whatever he wants. And that's wonderful. That's kind of how it should be, in my opinion. Of course, uh, yeah. So let's see. Let's make a circle. And then maybe we can end the episode. It should be just enough time. Um, hi. Okay, so... This is a little bit confusing. Wait, no, I understand. Okay. Left hand, right hand. That's easy enough. Okay, yeah. Um, and then I could... Yes! Okay. Oh, yes. this is perfect. This is so good. Okay. No, that's not right. That's right. Okay, and then where... Who is, uh... Who's near him? Anybody? Yes. Oh, yeah. And then, uh... I think I could get a little <laughs> closer. And that guy could get... It. Oh, yeah! Get it! No merriment! They've called the cops! Oh wow! Wow! But how are the cops going to stop you when you have a tree <laughs> the size of a skyscraper with a little acorn hat? I mean, come on. It's never stopped them before, but maybe it will this time. Anyway. I mean, it's never stopped them before because no one's actually tested this theory in real life. Well, uh, not, unless... with, not, with, not with the acorn hat, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, hang on. Um, what historical event involving a confrontation between um, the police and a, and I quote, a tree the size of a skyscraper, unquote, uh, are you referring to here? I don't think it's the size of a skyscraper. You don't? 
No, I mean, look at the size of that acorn. It's just like, it's kind of like a large tree. I mean, but that would be a pretty big tree. Yeah, but not the size of a skyscraper. I don't know. I'm from Santa Barbara. They're not allowed to build more than two and a half floors. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's a pretty dinky skyscraper. Yeah, I, well. I don't think it's scraping no sky. You know I mean, what? We have five minutes left, and you bet. If you're going to be a pedant, I'm going <laughs> to find out if there is indeed a definition for skyscraper. Oh, interesting. Well, I uh -huh. guess... At least, at least what? Tell me. Historically, the term first referred to buildings with between 10 and 20 stories. If we're using that acorn as our standard unit of measurement... It's a, it's a technical acorn, yes. Well, that's got to be at least 10 stories. I don't believe that. I believe I it's mean, no more than five or six. Stories? Yeah. What? Max eight. Let me see that acorn. How high are your ceilings? Um, let me You're see. not even in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> um, okay, let me uh, walk, attach, and climb. Okay, let's uh, attach it range. Attach and yay. Okay. Sure, let's see if we can see the acorn again. I don't know if we can. I think it's maybe too high. There's no way to look in total 3D movement in this game, so I think we may just have to, uh... Wait, so this is a tiny rock. And we can see yeah. it, and we can see this the tree. Yeah. Completely, so... That has got to be at least 10 stories. Easy. I do not believe you. Gr go walk the rock over to the tree, for God's sake. I don't really know why you're fighting me on this. <laughs> Grab the tree. Okay. Imagine that... Twice the height of that rock is one story. Twice the height of this tiny rock. Fine, three times. I'm saying you easily get to ten floors. I will, <laughs> uh, wow. I will make a diagram if need be. Uh, not because I have to be right, just because if people choose to die on a weird hill, uh, I want to go out with them. Wow, okay. Well, I feel like this is the one time, the first time in fact, I don't have to put any coins in the, you know, imaginary coins in the Kelly jar. The Kelly Woods oh, right jar. I, I mean, you only, ha you only have to do it if you're proven wrong. So. Well, I don't think that's possible because unless we ever talk to uh, Takahashi, and uh, I don't know if he even speaks English, and if, well, do you speak Japanese? You speak like a little bit, right? No, I speak conversational Japanese arcade game Japanese, so I can tell you, uh, how and when to use your IC card and when to select things in a menu. Okay, so... I'm not sure I can use that. Uh, also, I will point out that uh, a couple of days ago, Mr. Takahashi tweeted something to the effect of, does anybody have any questions for me? I will not answer them, but you can ask me, which I thought was really funny. Wow, so we could... Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> We could ask him. I mean, that, w that would be a silly enough question. I think instead I shall uh, use this last minute uh, to instead appeal to your sense of empathy. Put uh -huh. yourself in the shoes of that little rock person. Imagine looking up at that tree and ask uh -huh. yourself, would that seem like a very tall building? Yes. There you go. It would. It would seem like a very tall building if I was a little rock uh man i guess his name is jeb so i guess he's a little rock man oh no i thought about the joke about police versus buildings too long and i made myself sad oh that's a shame yeah. we're gonna have to bring pigs into this i mean there are mayors so that's sad so maybe there are pigs um anyway i don't uh, know he doesn't really have like an ethos he's sort of a blank slate the mayor yeah he's just a green, <laughs> Although, a green he does really only have one legislative ability which is to bomb things indiscriminately so once again i have mistakenly walked myself back to the place that i was trying not to think about anyway well, but the bombing makes everybody around him happy and they that's are not a good harmed. point they that's not true they're they, not harmed i mean if we were all invincible exploding could be fun yeah yeah like a roller coaster it's, it's definitely a bomb of, like a party bomb and not like a not like a horrible like normal bomb. Hang on, what is a party bomb? Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> it seems to only exist in this world and in maybe cartoons. Other cartoons. Oh, I mean, the straight people have them. I think they call them gender reveal parties. <laughs> no, those aren't fun for anybody. I mean, then why do they keep doing them? Is it just well, for the the Instagram? I don't get it. Well, we can ask straight people why they do a lot of things, but we're not <sighs> going to get anywhere. We we have to go. Um, yeah, they're just going to make noises. We don't have any way to process. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, they're just going to take their their straight woman friends to the gay bar for their bachelorette party. Um, anyway. <laughs> And then we're like, what are you doing here? And they're like, we're here for all the gays. And we're like, can you leave, please? And they're like, no, be fun. And we're like, no, we're not going to be fun. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> I would say, if, if any straight people in the audience, assuming there are any ever, uh, I'm not sure that that's ever been proven or could be proven at this point. But if there are, feel free to attempt to have the straightest gender reveal party you can imagine in the gayest bar available to you and film the whole thing tell me how it goes wow that could be interesting uh i would rather you don't i would rather you just leave the straightest possible comment in our in our comments <laughs> for this <laughs> that's video that's good yeah that'd be that's great. really good and that would help us in the in the algorithm not, yeah not, it's a shame not that from the you can't Space Jam. Uh, i'm sorry oh, not from not algae rhythm from space jam but the algorithm Please, Space Jam, A New Legacy. It's its own film. Oh, excuse uh, me. Excuse the original me. Space Jam uh, had enough self-respect not to make a pun that bad into a major character. Oof, yeah. Oof, poor Don Cheadle. Is that Don Cheadle? Or is that somebody Oh, else? whatever. I mean, poor nobody who worked on it. That's easy money, baby. That's like a day and a half of green screen. And <laughs> oh, it's there. true. I mean, not for the animators, but anyway, yeah. Uh, the actress, yes, I agree. Um, <laughs> Don Cheadle will be okay. It's not Don Cheadle, is it? Is it? I don't remember. Sure. Why not? I feel, uh, I feel like it is, maybe. Anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, thank you all <laughs> so much for joining us. Um, I should save. Uh, before I forget. Um, uh, yes. Nine people. Incredible. Uh, quit game, yes, and just go to the title screen while we uh, do our do our. Oh, that's so sweet. I love rock. Um, anyway, um, thank you for joining us, gal pals and pals of gals. Um, this has been Gamer Gals or Go. You can find the info for our Twitters and stuff in the description below. Um, and oh, you wow, can that's way easier. Yeah, right? Save a lot of time. And as always, you can find <laughs> the membership, the Ko-Fi membership, at, also in the description below at ko-fi.com slash heyanymop, where for $5 a month, <laughs> you can... Ko-Fi! I know, I hate it. I hate that name. What? Why? The one you just made up? No, isn't it Ko-Fi? Ko I mean, it's it's spelled K-O-F-I for SEO purposes, but it is absolutely, I believe, intended to be pronounced coffee. It's just very confusing when you're saying it out loud that's uh, that's why i spell it but feel free to say something silly i mean i love it uh, yeah i'd like to say silly things too i like wordplay anyway um <laughs> it's what i said already it's what i said all right that's <laughs> what i said i'm walking here all right anyway um you can take it or leave it please take it i need money <laughs> please take it um where you can watch me and my friend jesse swanson my uh best one of my besties from high school um one of the, uh, we, uh, he's from the second city in Chicago. We play Star Wars games and make jokes. Oh, you should ask him about those mayors in the airport. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. I, uh, I will tell him about Lori Lightfoot's newest snafu, which I have added her about Julia Lori Lightfoot more than once. <laughs> what? Because I... Oh, I've added Lori Lightfoot about her saying I have the biggest dick in Chicago more than once because it's hilarious. I'm uh, starting to wonder if there's anybody that you won't engage At? with. On Twitter? <laughs> uh, yeah, do you, is there like a... Do you ever go like, nah, not worth it? Like, do you ever do that? Uh, yes. Uh, yesterday wow. I watched Ben Shapiro's hilarious uh, negative review of the Batman. And I didn't at him. Not worth it. I'm proud of you. Thank you. 
I've grown up just a little. <laughs> I'm 35. I don't need that shit in my life. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay, great. Um, okay, bye, y'all. <laughs> oh, bye, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you next Friday, Dream. Bye. <laughs> I still say it, even though Ice Cube only said it once in 1994, as you said before. Are okay. you still recording? Yeah, I'm not anymore. Bye. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>